Hi guys! So today we're going to create a video how to use this Google Classroom. So since my friends asked me how to use this Google Classroom, I will just make a video. Okay? So I already signed in in my Gmail account. Okay? So you will just how to open the Google Classroom. In this Google Apps, you will just click this and look for this Google Classroom here. We'll just click this and the classroom will open or here you will just type google classroom okay then enter or click this google classroom okay that's a two uh way how to open the google classroom okay if you already have an account in gmail okay I already have a classroom, Google Classroom. We have the Object Oriented Programming for ACT. I have 70 students. For Automata, I have BSS3 Irregular. I have 47 students. And the Data Structure, I have 120 students. And for the Object Oriented Programming, I have 104 students. So many students. Uh, actually, I gathered all of them into one classroom so that it, it easy for me to check all of these assignments, quizzes. Okay, now how to create? Okay, how to create this Google Classroom? You will see an icon here. Okay, if you are a student, you will just click this join class. Okay, if you're a student, then you're going to ask your teacher what is the code okay so uh, some of my students ask me the code i send their code in our gc in facebook account or you can email them your code okay so after the typing the class code you're going to type it here then you will just click this join okay now how to create a classroom again click this okay then create a class after creating that the window will pop up okay you will just read that and this click this then continue okay you will just type the corresponding forms or the corresponding uh click create class you're going to type the class name it is already required you need to type that the class name the sections the subject and the room then after fill up all of this you will just click this create okay so example we have already our google classroom object oriented programming automata data structures and object oriented programming we will just click this object oriented programming for act okay so this is the environment of object oriented programming for act so this is the class code Okay, so again, four. that is the class code of my students for the subject object oriented programming. Okay, now how to check how to create a classwork. Okay, in this area, you will just click classwork, then you're going to create. Yeah, actually, I already made some uh, assignments or projects to all my students since march 17 okay how to create you will just click this create then click the assignment if you want to give them an yeah, assignment okay then fill up I'm going to type the title the instruction if you want to add some files you will just click this add then file okay or some of the youtube videos then you're going to uh click this for all of the students all the students what is the points then put the due date and the number of topics or the rubrics then you're going to click this assign design okay now how about how about for the creating quizzes so this is the quiz assignment you will just create quiz assignment okay Fill up the title, the instructions. If you want some, add some uh, files. Click the add files like this one. 
or some files in the Google Drive or YouTube, you will just click that. Then click for object oriented programming for all of the students, the points, the due number of due date, the topics. Then after you fill up that, after uh, fill up everything, you will just click this assign. Okay. Now we have also here a black quiz, blank quiz. We're going to click that. If you want to put some quiz also, then wait. So this is the example blank quiz, okay? So we have this untitled questions. If you want to change the color, you will just click this, customize theme. Then I want to change this uh, the orange, red, I think, uh, green, uh, green, okay? Change the back, background color, the basic, font style, okay. Then you're going to choose, if it is multiple choice, paragraph, short answer, checks boxes, drop down, fill upload, okay. You can choose everything if you want, okay. Then after that, you can type your blank quiz, okay. Then what is this? We have the settings, collect email. So you're going to click this response, limit to one response only. Okay, you're going to click this limit to one response only. Then edit after submit, then see summary chart, then click save. Don't forget to click check this limit to one response only. Okay. Then you're going to send. After finishing typing your quizzes, you're going to click send to your all of your students. Okay. Let's go back to a, our uh, Google Classroom. Okay. Now, how about uh, same materials? Create materials. You will just click that. Or you're going to click the some questions. Same procedures. Okay. How about you want to do uh check the students okay these are my students okay if you want to invite some teachers you're going to click this invite teachers then after that you will just type the name or the email address of some teachers they're going to invite him for example you're going to you want to invite the deans of your department or the principal of your department you will just type her email address then click invite now some students or you can also invite some students you we'll just click this type the name or the email address then after typing the names and the email address of the students or the email address of the students you will just click this invite okay how about this grades grades okay this is the grades of my students they submitted uh, in the object related programming, the menu bar already give her a grades. Okay, this one they're missing. These are my students. Okay, okay, these are the grades of my students. Okay, let's go back to Automata. So, this is my classroom in Automata. These are my to do things for my students. Okay, the grades. They already have a grade. Okay, midterm grade. Some of them are did not submit their uh, program deterministic. Okay, let's go back to the other one. Data structures. This is my the environment of data structure. My Google Classroom data structures. Okay, this is my object-oriented programming for my BSS students. Okay. This is my Google Classroom in my subject, okay? Now, that's all, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!